Hey everyone, welcome to Join Coder. In this video, I'm going to show you my project a small coffee shop system built with Laravel 11. So in this system, I've added four user roles, admin, cashier, chef, and customer. Right now, I'm going to walk you through some parts of the admin role. Let's start from the login form. Here, you can log in using Google, Facebook, or just email. If you don't have an account yet, you'll need to register first. One thing to note, if you log in or register by yourself, you'll be assigned the customer role by default. If you want to be a cashier or chef, the admin has to assign those roles manually. All right, let's go ahead and log in as an admin and check out the features. On the dashboard, I've added a few useful widgets. First, we have a product low stock alert. This lets the admin know when products are nearly out of stock. Then you can see monthly purchase totals, daily sales, monthly sales. There's also a donut chart showing the top three best-selling products. Next to that, you can see a breakdown of payment types, like how many paid with cash, card, or mobile. And down here, we've got the sales overview chart showing daily sales data. You can also see how customers are ordering, whether it's eat-in, takeaway, or delivery. That's it for the dashboard. Now let's move on. In the category section, we have three parts. Category, products, and discount. Let's start with categories. Each category has a name and a created date, with update and delete options under actions. I will go ahead and add a new one called bread. And it's added successfully. You will also see pagination if there are many categories. Now I will update this category and yep, it works perfectly. Let's try deleting it now you will get a confirmation alert before it actually gets deleted. Just click OK and you'll see it successfully deleted. Next, let's check out the product section. Here, the admin can see a list of all products displayed in cards with the product name, price, in-stock quantity, and actions to update or delete. Oh yeah, looks like Cappuccino is out of stock. Earlier, I showed this alert in the dashboard, and now it's also showing here in the product list. So it's easy for the admin to catch low-stock items from both views. All right, now let's go through the product creation process. On the left side, we've got the product image upload section. By default, there's a placeholder image showing. Once you select a new image, it'll update right here in real time so you know exactly what you're uploading. Now on the right, we have the product details form. First up is the product name. This is where we type in what the item is called. Next, we enter the stock quantity. Then we choose a category from the dropdown. All existing categories will show up here, and you just pick the one that fits. Below that, we've got a description box. This is optional, but it helps if you want to include extra details like size, flavor, or anything special about the product. Once everything is filled out, we just click the Add Product button and it will be saved to the system. If we change our mind or want to go back to the product list, we can hit the Back button right next to it. This form also has full validation built in, so if we forget anything or enter in valid data, it'll show us an error message right away. And that's how simple it is to add a new product as an admin. There's also a search bar so the admin can quickly find any product, and it works great. Let's try searching for espresso. Yep, here it is. If you want to update it, just click and make changes. And of course, you can delete it too if needed. So yeah, that's it for the product features. 
Now let's move on to discounts. Admins can select all products or just specific ones. For now, I'll select all products, then set a discount percentage, and choose the start and end date. I'll show you how these discounts work when we switch over to the cashier role later. Finally, let's take a look at the tax settings. This is where admins can manage any taxes applied to products during checkout. You can add a new tax by entering the tax name like service tax or VAT, and then set the percentage. For example, I will type in service tax and set it to 1%. Hit Add Tax and boom, it's added to the table on the right. Now, if you want to update an existing tax rate, just type the same tax name, change the percentage, and click Update Tax. But here's the thing. If you try to click Add Tax with a name that already exists, it will show an alert saying the tax name is already in use. So make sure you're clicking the right button depending on what you want to do. It'll automatically find that entry and update the value. No need to delete and re-add. It's simple, quick, and helps keep your pricing accurate and consistent. And that's it for this part of the admin features in the coffee shop system. In the next video, I'll continue with the remaining admin features like managing purchases, viewing reports, and more. So if you want to see everything, make sure to check out the next video. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.